this is Komodo. It has two wakes, which I think is really cool. Uh, it also has landing gear and uh, two missile racks and a cockpit, which I have taught you guys how to fold this cockpit, which is this, and this cockpit. And I, I'm a fan of the, I'm a really big fan of this plane, and I feel like it's really well deserving of the of the name Komodo. Also, before before I continue, I I'm not feeling really well today, so uh, I'm sorry if I if my voice is kind of like off. But yeah, I'm just not feeling very well. So yeah, so. Uh, on to the tutorial, I guess. There's not much about this plane. So to fold Komodo, you are first going to fold in half. Like this. I can get this paper up. And fold in half again. Uh, you're going to keep it like this. And then you're going to fold this corner or the other corner, it doesn't really matter, to the center. And then you're going to fold it back. You want to make sure that these two quarters stay aligned. That is pretty important. And then you can squash fold that like so. Now you can reverse this center crease and then you can collapse this down. Oh, what happened here? This isn't good. Whatever, it's fine. Now you can fold this up as far as it will go. And you can fold this, oh, not like that, like this. You want to fold this edge along the edge behind it on both sides. Now you're going to do the same thing on this side. And you're going to fold this into the center just like this. This is a good pre-crease that you can make. It's recommended. Not required, but recommended. It's just a small little pre-crease. Now what you can do is fold this behind. And fold these flaps inside. Now you can fold this back again.
And now you can open this up. Take out this layer. I want to keep these where it is. Take out these layers and reverse this crease. Then you can squash fold. Now, what you can do is you can uh, inside petal fold. So, I mean, not inside, just an outside normal petal fold. You're going to first fold these along the center crease. And you can petal fold it up like I just showed you. Now you can undo this petal fold. And it wasn't worthless because now what you're going to do is you're going to take this all out and you're going to basically unfold it back to back to here and then you're going to open it up and you know, let me shine the light at a better angle for you guys so it's easier for you to see. It's just going to pop like that. You want to switch the dominating crease. And now you're gonna switch some more dominating creases. Or actually just you're gonna you're gonna collapse this crease in like that. And then you're going to fold this on the inside. And now you're going to do a modified pedal fold. And now that you have that, you just kind of take that. And you can restructure these creases if you like. But when you're done, it should it should look like this. Like just uh, that's just for people uh, less experienced and not really familiar with that fold. Now you're gonna fold this up and leave it for later. <clears throat> now you're going to take this flap and fold, fold it along the edge. And you're gonna kind of take this out like this.
you can fold that up. Oh, oh, one thing that you need to make sure of is if your crease, this crease right here lands on this point, or if the point lands on the crease, then that's good. If it doesn't, then that's not good. So you want to make sure that your, your plane is good to go. By doing that, Now you can inside reverse that. Now what you can do is you can take this out. Oh no, that's not good. Then you're going to inside reverse fold that inside. This isn't a voiceover, I swear. Uh, I'm just bad at talking about what I need to do. So, yeah, you're gonna... <sighs> so now you're going to do the same thing on this side. This is another way to do it. Works uh, just as well. When I did this technique on the Hornet, I mean, like, you don't have to do this technique on the Hornet, but I mean, like, it works. Then you can inside reverse fold this. Right after you adjust your crease because you failed. No, I failed. You didn't fail because you're good. You're very good at this. That looks good. Now we can continue on the on the model. You're going to fold this up, and you're gonna want to create a crease that goes from here to that point. That's really all you need. So, and then you can fold that up. Why is it doing that? Eh. Then what you, you can do after you fold that up is you can use the crease that you made and swivel this up. 
this uh if this is your first time watching my videos then you may think that's pretty cool but it's uh actually um i use this a lot on some of my planes like the uh, oh yeah you want to fold this over i use this technique a lot when making I use it a lot on a lot of different planes, such as the um, the Strider, the Barracuda, and I feel like there's one more that I'm missing. Oh yeah, and uh, a Scepter. Yeah, so you're just gonna fold this down along that edge. Now you're going to squash this down. And now you're going to fold this edge. Um, so that it hits right at this point. It's kind of hard to see, but right right there right there um you fold that over and you, oh wait no it's a, a different point it's right this point right here so you're going to fold that over, um, the, and you want this, this point to land on this edge. And then you're going to swivel fold this over. Now you're going to uh, undo this. And uh, inside reverse fold that. It's going to fold that all over. And now you're gonna kind of half unfold this and you're gonna reverse these creases. And you want to make sure that you want to make sure that this small ledge is above this flap so that you can fold this up. And now you can refold this, or not refold, but you can uh, fold this behind just like this. This kind of makes things cleaner, just kind of cleans things up.
in you can do that on this side of Oh, that's not good. I need to, I need that. Need it to change so that this layer, this layer needs to be on top of that layer. It's like important to re reduce drag. And now you can fold this down. And then back up again. Then you can use this crease that you made earlier. And kind of swivel fold it down. This, uh, this design is from uh, this jet. But, uh, but I, uh, you could use it for many other things, for many other designs, because it is a very good design. I like the angle change in the wings, and, and the missile racks makes it very cool. 
and it can it's just very very nice it is uh, reasonably compact as well you could get Aaron tanks a turret or a landing gear strut and missile racks all in all in the, just this part right here this just one simple fold which is very very uh cool and i really like that a lot so now you can fold this part you're gonna want to fold it in in like that and then or one one thing that you should do is fold the wings up before I forget because I it's like routine that I forget to fold the wings up so now you have a reference to make this parallel to that And you can also oh, that's wrong. Um, okay, just kind of fold that over. Just want to make it as good as possible do want to make sure that it is in the center because when it's not in the center that's not good uh, now what you can do is fold this edge Fold both of these edges into the center. Uh, just kind of not fold them. And so you now you have these two mountain folds and you're gonna use them to pedal fold it. Now, to reinforce the wings and lock it together, you can kind of un unlock the one layer part from this guy, from that little tab, and open it up just kind of a little bit and fold it in half. You should actually want to fold it about one third instead of one half. It might add up uh, to the wings a little bit better, uh, to the missile rack a little bit better, that's what I meant to say. Because the ultimate goal is to fold the this behind and you want to do that like, you don't even really need to make a reference crease if you're good at it, but, like, it's recommended, I guess. Oh, no wonder I, no wonder it was wrong. Uh, yeah, I had it on the wrong side, so. And just go up. And now you're going to uh, kind of fold this in half.
there. And now you can do that on this side. Okay, now what you can do is you can kind of take these out, fold this up, and then you're going to take this and you're gonna fold it up to right here. You really wanna make sure it hits that. You wanna crease really hard. That's very important crease. Fold it back down, squash fold. Fold this out, uh, fold this to the center. and fold this into the center as well. And now you're gonna do a, a, a normal petal fold instead of inside reversing these parts false and first full, false, what, what even, I made a new word today. So there are very many ways to fold the cockpit. They're all, they are all slightly different. This one is uh, the normal cockpit. This is what's on Vulcan and F-22. But uh, the plane, uh, just a little bit of information, is this is Raider V-2. Uh, I'm going to make a tutorial on it very soon. Slightly different from Raider V-1. But it still has those cool bomb bays, so you're not going to miss those. This is a cockpit that's further back and is longer and more up in the center of this. I really like this cockpit style. Like it looks, it looks a lot different. It like, it looks a lot more menacing in my opinion, just not from the front, from the front it kind of looks silly, but literally from any other, any other angle, it looks really cool. That's what I like about it. And this is uh, what we're making and it has an in-between as you can see it's different 
from this and but still is different from this it's it is further back than the first one but it's still further forward than the other one so so to make this style cockpit you're gonna fold this back right here and crease to make this style cockpit you're gonna fold it to here and crease to make this cockpit you're going to fold it to here and crease you can do whatever floats your boat but I like this one the best in my opinion so that is the one I'm going to use in this tutorial I'm going to change this pedal before I land any creases Now you can fold it back and crease. Now the crease is what you're going to do first. You're not gonna do any cockpit stuff right now because that would be wasted time. But instead, you're gonna open this up and now you see where that crease landed. There, if you did this, uh, a little bit not as perfect. There should be a little tiny imperfection right there, or a small pinch mark, and that's actually a good thing. You should fold this down first. That's, that is a good idea. And then you are going to fold from that, fold from that point, and you wanna land this point on the crease. And do that on both sides. I'm gonna crease this really hard. Now you can close sync this. You do not want to open sync, you want to close sync. Close sinks are a lot more uh, difficult than a open sink, in my opinion. But in this case, it is extremely important that you close sink it. So it is very important that you. Oh, did I just. Oh my gosh, that's not good. Uh, it's very important that you close sync this instead of open syncing because if you open sync, you're not going to be able to uh, fold this flap up because that is the ultimate goal that we're aiming for is to fold the, fold the flap up so that we have more room for landing gear. It doesn't matter how good your... Uh, your uh, thing is, it doesn't matter how good it is, you just need it to be gender, genuine, generally on the crease because you're just gonna kind of rough out the edges, you're gonna, you're gonna take away the kinks because now with those open sinks, I mean closed sinks, you can fold this up and fold this into the center.
Okay, now that you have that, you can, you have this space all freed up. So, you can, you have this stuff, uh, you can fold that down and fold it back up. Now you can t take that trap paper out and swivel it up. You swivel it over. Oh, you just swivel it uh, over on the edge. And you could do the same thing right here. And fold it over. Now you can fold this down. You can fold this over along that crease and then you can kind of push that and you want this to be swiveled over so that it's uh, on the center and yeah. Okay, that looks good. Oh, that's not good. Uh, but it, it doesn't matter. Uh, I got this. So now you can fold this up along that edge. And you're going to fold this into thirds, which is more like fourths. But it doesn't matter because you want to because you're folding this up. You just want to fold it into thirds. Just fold it to there and then to there. Then you can fold this in half. Then you can fold this up. Fold this down. And And now, fold that over. You can now fold this over on the second crease and swivel it, swivel this. Kind of like a rabbit ear fold, but you're not folding them at the same time, you're just kind of folding them. And now you can fold this up back, you can fold it back up again and fold this up as well. And you're gonna do a second rabbit ear fold. This landing gear design is extremely good for jets that you want with cockpits. If you want a cockpit with uh, with your jet, then this is the landing gear that you should go for, because it's ex it works extremely well.
And now that you have this, you can fold this down in half like this. The same right here. And you can jet fold. This jet fold's gonna be a little bit more difficult than most because you don't have much paper to work with to jet fold. So I suggest that you do it like this. Just to start. And now that you have jet folded, you can take this, take this flap and fold it up as far as it will go. Actually, you're gonna, you're gonna do it on this side. You're gonna fold it up right here. And now you can, you just kind of want the crease for now. You can fold that in half and, it, and then you can fold it up. And that's how you lock the plane. I'm gonna use this battery to just grease the nose or the, the top.
Now you can round out your engines. And now you can fold this up. And that can work as some air intakes. Now you can fold this down to make a landing gear strut. Just inside reverse fold the tip just a tiny bit. Like that much. And that is almost Komodo. Uh, if you want to, oh my gosh, why does this keep happening? Please stay inside reverse folded. <laughs> now, if you want, you can inside reverse fold the wing tips like on this guy just by going like that. And folding him in, in like that. Got some inside rever reverse folded wing tips. And you can do the same thing on this side. I'm just eyeballing it, but yeah, it's a good idea to book match it.
now you can kind of line up the fins so that they are straight up. Or you could do it like a V, like that. But it doesn't matter what you, uh, it just matters what you like. And that is Komodo. Don't forget to join Chad Magazine for early access to my videos.